Did you know that groundwater is the most reliable source of potable water for public use? Groundwater is the water present beneath the Earth's surface in soil pore spaces and in fractures of rock formation. In Guyana, groundwater represents more than 90% of the supply on the coast and 70% countrywide. However, this source is not an inexhaustible one and the Guyana Water Incorporated has recognized the need to sustain its underground water source so as to ensure a continuous supply to citizens. Therefore, the utility has collaborated with the Inter-American Development Bank to pursue actions to prepare and implement a groundwater management plan to assess the sustainability of groundwater supply in Guyana. This is being done under the Water Supply and Sanitation Infrastructure Improvement Program. The utility has collaborated with Del Tares, an applied research institute in water and subsurface environment from the Netherlands, to develop a model that will seek to guide us on the physical characteristics of the groundwater resource on the coast. This project entails conducting geophysical logging of coastal wells in regions 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 10. Geophysical logging is a process to gather information about the various strata of soil, earth and sand and rock between the earth's surface and the aquifer. This information assists us in designing new water well infrastructure. Our aquifers span the entire coast of Guyana. We are very fortunate to have huge groundwater resources and it's important for us to have accurate and adequate information on the location of the various types of soils above these resources and also to assist us in quantifying these resources in the future. So once we've collected the data from the logger, we will analyze the data and we will interpret the information. It will tell us the various layers that we have within the aquifer system. So we'll find out where we have our sand bearing, or water bearing sands, where we have clays, and any other material we may have in our aquifer system. This information will then be fed into a software that will help us to model our aquifer system. So we'll have a visual representation of what that system looks like. In addition to that, we will be able to manipulate the system using the software so we will know whether the activities that we're doing, our abstraction to produce water for our population, whether that will have, will have an impact on the aquifer system or whether we need to do artificial recharge, that means putting water back into the aquifer system or any other activity that we might be able to use or do to manage the aquifer better to ensure that we have a sustainable resource over a longer period of time. Climate change, which contributes to drought and the depletion of surface water sources such as lakes, creeks and streams, population growth and other human activity worldwide, are placing an increasing demand on the use of groundwater sources. As such, there is need for emphasis on the sustainability of groundwater supply. According to the Stockholm International Water Institute, groundwater withdrawals in developing countries are forecast to increase by 50% by 2025. The United Nations expects a global shortfall in water by 2030.